Hi guys. Um, I just sent the request to Andrea. She will be joining in any moment. I'm nervous. Hello, Chubam. Hola. <laughs> Hola. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm great. I'm so excited to be here with you. Finally. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long that we have been preparing and finally we are here. I know. Let's tell everyone. Um, well, I would like to tell everyone that you have been supporting me since I participated in Miss World. And I am so thankful for that because I really appreciate the people that is always with me by my side, cheering me up every time I need. And I am very excited to be here talking with you and to finally kind of meet you because I, like I saw your yeah. personal Instagram, but I, well, we really haven't talked like this before. Yeah. Well, that is so much coming from your side. I'm really excited and looking forward to this. I have, you know, loved you since I miss World Mexico days and it's like a dream come true to speak to you now. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> so no, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> so we should officially began this sure let's yeah. start so, <laughs> yeah so how have you been you know the pandemic and how have everything treated you well at the beginning it was hard because mm -hmm. uh, I don't live with my parents anymore I used to live in Guadalajara and my family is from Chihuahua so when the pandemic started I was kind of alone the good thing is that I had I had a roommate so we made companion for each other uh, yeah. but uh, you know everything stopped like I didn't have work I I didn't have anything so at the beginning I was hoping it wasn't gonna last that long <laughs> but when it did I decided to go back to my uh, to my house in Chihuahua and being with the, the people that it's uh, it's always been there for me it was it was good because they helped me to to see what I wanted to do, what like how things were going to happen from yeah. from this this situation. And um, yeah. well, now I'm I'm pretty good. I I think we all have um, we all are used to this situation now. You know, like yeah, true. we we had to change our lifestyle. We had to change yeah. our daily activity. And I think I'm doing pretty well now. I am living in Mexico City and I'm super excited about that because I officially started my, well, my preparation for the Miss Universe uh, competition. And I've yes. been having a lot of activity as you have seen in my, on my social media. Yeah, I did see it. You know, you are doing wonderful. And yeah, you know, this year has been tough, but it has been really a uh, life teaching. We are living new normal. So, yeah, great answer. <laughs> and how are you? <laughs> I'm sort of okay. Um, you know, I just started my college this year and, uh, you know, everything went online. So it wasn't really a great for me, but, you know, I need to live life like my, you know, elder ones lived. So <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the new normal, basically. Yeah. But everything shall be, you know, coming to better very soon. And we we should just, uh, you know, stay at home and care for ourselves. That is the best thing we can learn from this experience. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for accepting, you know, of, uh, I just want to say this thing, like, you are missing us in Mexico. And I was like, I'm a, I'm a small page. Please accept my request. And you were like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I I'm happy to do it. I mean... All the interviews or the Instagram lives have to be approved my, by my organization. And that's why I told you mm -hmm. to write directly to Mexican Universal or Lupita. Yeah. And uh, she was like, sure. And she texted me like, do you want to do this Instagram live? And I was like, yeah, of course I want to do it. <laughs> gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> so we should we shall proceed to next question and it is what really motivated to motivated you to participate in miss universe mexico well miss universe has always been a dream for me i remember when jimena navarrete she's a, a mexican miss universe yeah and when she won i was with my dad and we were driving to the school and i was like 
uh, we were listening to the radio and they were saying like mm -hmm. the Mexican lady just won uh, Miss Universe and I was like what I think I was like 15 years old something like that and I was like really did a, did a <laughs> Mexican lady won and that was like kind of like life-changing for me because mm -hmm. before that I never thought that a, a Mexican could, could go that far yeah and that like kept stayed in my mind and after I went to Miss World and everything I knew that there was something more for me and that I mm -hmm. really wanted to try and after Katsuyona went to both of those contests and she won Miss yeah. Universe that was super motivating for me because uh, I knew that I could I could go further than what I did before yeah and that's when I decided to join Mexicano Universal but of course I didn't tell anyone because I wanted to keep it a secret until it was kind of official mm -hmm. because I didn't know like if I could actually join the organization. So I, I talked with the state organization. My mm -hmm. director is Hector. And mm -hmm. well, I applied like any other girl because I knew that I was not going, going to receive any kind of special treatment because I was already yeah. Miss Mexico 2017. <laughs> I, I wanted to do things right, like everyone else. And that's what, what I did. And uh, this has been like a dream come true for me. And I can't wait to be at Miss Universe. And I can't wait to see you in Miss Universe. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Generally, you know, I text so many person, let it be Mexican, let it be from another country. I always say that Mexico is going to win. You have oh, some special place in my heart. and. <laughs> Hopefully you will win it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I have seen all your like predictions for Miss Universe. And mm -hmm. I really thank you because you always uh, consider me on your top five. And that's really motivating for me because it really means a lot when it comes from the people that have has been supporting mm -hmm. me like along all these years. It's okay. You know, this is my work and I love supporting you guys. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, my next question is, how did people in Mexico react when they got to know that Andre Meza is coming back in pageants? Ah, it was it was crazy because at first when the, well people started asking me like you should you should join Mexican Universal you should try mm -hmm. like you would do great and I received a lot of text messages like when Catriona won like mm -hmm. people were were like. Oh my God, if you, if she can do it, you can do it too. And that's yeah. when everything started. Like everyone was sending me messages, encouraging me to do it. And, uh, mm -hmm. well, when I made it official, when on January from 2020, 20, we made it yeah. official. Yeah. We mm -hmm. made it official. The social media just exploded. <laughs> everyone was so happy. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, of course there's like always different perspectives. But most of the people were cheering me up and like they were with me and they have been with me. Um, <laughs> and I love that Mexican people are always supporting me. I thank you with all my heart. And well, of course, there's people like they sometimes say that I already had my opportunity and that I shouldn't do it. But I always believe in second chances and that I believe that we should always pursue our dreams. And yeah. uh, well, that's why I'm here. Yeah, that's truly quoted that we should pursue our dreams. You are exactly doing that. And yeah, Katriona paved, you know, way for many girls out there. We should thank Katriona and I can't wait to see you win. Yeah, I remember last year I used to text when there was a Mexican page. It's like Mex Mrs. Mexicana Universal. Mm -hmm. So I texted them that, is it possible for Andre Meza to join Miss Universe Mexico? Mm -hmm. And they were like, something is coming up. Just hold on, something is coming up. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I got to know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so finally, we're, we are here. <laughs> yeah, um, we're finally here on a road to Miss Universe. And mm -hmm. sometimes when I'm when I'm just sitting alone and uh, thinking about it, it's like crazy. Like, hey, yeah. I'm going to Miss Universe. I'm going to be on that stage where a lot mm -hmm. of women that have inspired me were also standing on. So... It's super exciting. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> so you were pre previously at Miss World pageant. So how did that pageant, you know, shape you into a better person, the person that you are today? How it shaped me? Yeah. Um, well, 
it has been like a school for me been yeah. into pageants because the girl that I used to be before this has nothing mm -hmm. to do with the with the person I am today because I used to be very shy I always was mm -hmm. uh, very intimidated by everyone else like I was afraid just to speak my mind and when I joined this pageantry world mm -hmm. well I was super afraid of everything, <laughs> I have to be honest. Yeah. I was afraid of cameras and microphones and to be standing in front of a lot of people. But mm -hmm. it was also like I, I could feel the adrenaline going yeah. uh, through my body. And I knew mm -hmm. I was in the right place and that I needed to go out of my comfort zone if I wanted to keep growing. And that's what I did. And uh, that, that's what pageantry did for me because yeah. it, it helped me to go to the places that I wasn't comfortable to go to. And yeah. uh, it, it has been a lot of personal growth, definitely. Yeah, true. Yeah, you know, pageantry really helps you to be a person that you are today. Um, I'm not a pageant contestant, but it really, you know, just developed me into something else. You know, whatever I am today, I'm because of pageants. I'm because of you girls. And yeah, everything has its own, you know, advantages and pageants too have their advantages. It's sorry, what? Yeah, I, I was saying that pageant too have their advantages, like they have ah, positive yeah. sides too, yeah. Everything course, has positive side. I yeah. think everything is positive if you want to see it that way. Um, yeah. Because sometimes you got to be in a position that you feel uncomfortable of doing some kind of things and mm -hmm. not because they're bad but because yeah. uh, you're not used to it or maybe because uh, as I did, I was afraid of being in front of people mm -hmm. and actually saying yeah. what I really thought about anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Um, so you're standing for a very important cause, which is very relevant in today's time, sexual or we, we would say street harassment. Yeah. So why did you choose that topic? Why did you choose to stand on this? Well, at the beginning, I, I wanted to do something for my country or for the world mm -hmm. that I, I could actually feel connected with. Uh, yeah. Because I have been in different, uh, in different projects and different social causes, but uh, it's not that I didn't like them. Of course, I love doing like, everything I can for other people, but I really yeah. wanted to do something that I was truly connected. And that's mm -hmm. when I started working with women that have suffered from violence in their own homes yeah. uh, that have been, uh, have been heated by their husbands or things like that. Mm -hmm. And I started with a campaign where we could talk about how powerful it is to believe in ourselves and to love ourselves first. Uh, and then we can give love to the rest of the world, the rest of the people. Yeah. And that's where everything started. And then thanks to that project, I met mm -hmm. with the ladies from the Municipal Institute for Women in Ciudad Juarez. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have heard of Ciudad Juarez, but sadly it has been known because of the violence that women live and the, the, they normally have to, to suffer on their street. And yeah. we started with a very powerful campaign that mm -hmm. we are trying to change the mindset of people that streets should be safe for all women and not only into mm -hmm. that what and that's like the biggest purpose to make this project go further and to be yeah. in the maybe in the whole in the whole state of chihuahua or in whole mexico and why not in the whole world because well, yeah it, this is not something that only happens in Chihuahua or in Ciudad Juarez. It is something that happens yeah. worldwide and we have to do yeah, something true. about it. And we have normalized it like a lot that we don't even see that it's a, a type of violence. When you go outside and someone is like calling you like, hey, sweetie, you, you're gorgeous and things like that. Sometimes we may laugh, but there's a point where it's not funny anymore. And it's true. not only that, but it's also the way they see you and even they follow you and that could go further and you could be kidnapped and, and, and women are being ki kidnapped and uh, found dead weeks after that. And that's very, very sad. And that's why I, I want to keep talking about that because sometimes it's a very uh, uncomfortable topic 
And it's something that we don't always want to talk about, but we have to do it. And that's one of the main purposes that, um, that I have by being here at Miss Universe Mexico. You know, this is something unique. No girl in past have ever stood for this course because it's really controversial. You know, it people is. might just, you know, say so much about you, but, you know, this is very relevant topic in today's time. Yeah, you rightly said that it's not just issue of Mexico, but it's issue of around every country. I have seen women degraded in my family as well. And kudos to you that you are standing for such, you know, important topic because it takes guts. And I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so my next question is, last year Mexico made it to top three at Miss Universe. So do you feel pressured or are you motivated by it? Uh, I'm totally motivated by it. Sophia did a great job at Miss Universe, True. and I'm really proud of her. And uh, I think that that makes uh, Mexico to have the spotlight from mm -hmm. all the world. And I think that's a very good opportunity. And I don't feel scared at all. I think, and I'm, I know that I can do a great job at Miss Universe. And yeah. the, the job, <laughs> thank you. And the work that <laughs> Sophia did is. Of course, it's going to help me. Yeah, it truly is going to help you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, people really wanted to know your insights about your preparation, how is everything going, your gowns, your work. So <laughs> they're really curious to, you know, just know this thing. Can you just yeah, show us? Yeah, I know. They always like, <laughs> they're always asking me the color of my dress for the final night and yeah that's something that's something i'm sorry that i won't that i won't tell anyone and you will see yeah. uh, the dress until the last minute but believe me it's going to be marvelous and you're gonna love it as much as i'm gonna love it too because i trust my designer he's a very very good mm -hmm. designer he's very talented yeah. and uh, i cannot wait to like try it on <laughs> and i'm gonna take a lot of pictures and then I'm gonna post them after Miss Universe. Like, <laughs> but yes. you you won't see you won't see anything before that. And well, <laughs> about my preparation, uh, I've been taking a lot of classes. Most of them are mm -hmm. through like digital press platforms, through Zoom mm -hmm. meetings, and I I'm trying to cover everything. I yeah. have my like a personal growth coach mm -hmm. where we talk about everything we talk about how I feel like mm -hmm. um, what do I want to improve and to make me a stronger woman like to to okay. know who I really am that I know yeah. but I, like I, I believe that we never end to know it not, like know ourselves, ourselves. Yeah. yeah so that's what we are working and I mm -hmm. also have my English classes well I, I am officially starting my English classes next week but i practice it every day i have some friends from abroad so uh, <laughs> i'm always talking in english with them and i think that's a very very good practice um yeah. uh, of course i mean my runway classes and uh, the gym um mm -hmm. uh, the other aspect that i'm working a lot uh, is my speaking skills and i have two yeah. different coaches for that <laughs> one is helping me with the way I can tell a story to mm -hmm. like try to catch everyone's attention and yeah. the, my other coach is like more technical like how can I uh, speak better like how can I mm -hmm. use my voice and the way I move my mouth all of that yeah. kind of aspect so I think that we're covering like everything we need uh, for the Miss Universe stage yeah you know it's really important to speak and just being good you know Trust me, you know, I'm from India. When you were called in top five, I was like, this girl is going to win at Miss World. But India eventually won, which I was happy. But, you know, yeah. somewhere I really wanted to see you win. Mm -hmm. And you are, you're improving so much and you have improved so much. And Thank I just you. can't wait to see your transformation at Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm sure you. you're working hard and Mexicans should be proud of you. And oh. they are proud of you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thank you so much. And also I thank all the people that have been supporting me from Mexico and from all over the world because I have supporters from all over the world, literally. Like yeah. 
I'm you super do, excited yeah. that I am that I am talking to you. Um because we are like so far away and you're still like believing me and I don't know, I'm I'm just so grateful. Um and what are we going to say? Ah, oh, well, about Miss World, I, I think that everything happens for a reason. And True. if if uh, had I won Miss World, I sh I wouldn't be here. And uh, now I I'm thankful so much um, yeah. that things happened the way it happened. Yeah, that's truly sad that everything happens for a reason. You know, if things do not happen, we can't really move on. We can't really you know grow ourselves into a better person. So yeah, things do happen, but everything happens for a reason, like you said. Yeah. So, right. yeah. So you have been to India in 2018, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. You were yeah. lehenga. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was your experience here? And uh, yeah, it, 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 it was, sorry, it was mm -hmm. uh, one of the best experience I have ever had. Um, mm -hmm. I never imagined I could go to India, and I remember when I received the email from the Miss World organization saying. Mm -hmm. Hello, Andrea. The the Miss World tour is officially officially starting, and mm -hmm. you are invited. And I was like, what? <laughs> and, and they listed the countries that we were going to visit. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> India, China again, Indonesia, the British Indonesia. Virgin Islands. And I was like, oh my god, being <laughs> in India was one of the best experiences I've ever, I have ever had. I loved the people. I think the thing that that I remember the most, or that I liked the most, was mm -hmm. how people just live so happy. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter what is going around them or the situation. They mm -hmm. are always happy, and you can feel that in the way they treat you because they're always so grateful, like to to meet each other, to be with each other. And I think that's very powerful, and that's a that's something that we should should all learn from, and also the food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, that's I, the most I, special thing. <laughs> yes, I have to confess, I used to eat a lot of naan, <laughs> and also. <Same. laughs> and also I love naan. Uh, see, it's delicious, and um, well, masala tea was was uh, masala mm -hmm. chai was was delicious. Yeah, masala we always, chai. We were we were always drinking masala chai. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, you know, beauty of India. We really love food. We have so many varieties. Uh, I wish I'd met you there. <laughs> I know, because you were living in New Delhi, right? Yeah. Where do you live? Yeah, and, and we were uh, in New I'm, Delhi. Yeah, you were there and I lived there. So oh. I kind of feel bad now, but I would love to see you visit India as Miss Universe. Maybe then we can meet. <laughs> yes, you have to go, definitely. You have to be there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, inspiration comes from everywhere. So what was your inspiration to join Miss Universe? Like, who was your favorite Miss Universe that inspired you to come for Miss Universe? Well, as I told you before, Jimena Navarrete, Navarrete was a uh, very uh, inspiring woman for me yeah. because uh, I never imagined that we could go that far. And <laughs> when she did... I was very surprised and that gave me hope. And not only talking about pageantry, but talking about uh, anything that we can do in life. Like if you're a doctor, if you're an engineer, if whatever you are, mm -hmm. you can really aspire to go that far. And I sure. think that's a, a very huge inspiration. Um, then Katsuriona was also an inspiration mm -hmm. for me. And I mean, there's a lot of Miss Universe that I love and that are super inspiring. I remember a lot Pia and Edith yeah. and I love all of them. And I think uh, mm -hmm. I'm talking about like the, the newest Miss Universe mm -hmm. because I started to, to pay more attention to Miss Universe like after Simena Navarrete too. Yeah, that's why. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there be no be, being honest, and you know that's the quality of Miss Universe. You are on the correct path. <laughs> so, so this is one of the most demanded questions. I hope you can guess it. <laughs> so there, 
there are a lot of people who are asking please ask antrea who who she would love to you know share stage if she is in top 5 so who will be the other four <laughs> girls that would you would love to you know share the stage that's like a super controversial question and people just love to ask that but i have to yeah. say that like all of us are working very hard to get that crown mm-hmm. and i think that the top 5 should be conformed with ladies that deserve it that have really yeah. worked hard and that they inspire a lot of people because i think that what uh, miss universe should do so i sure. cannot give you any names and i think that we're going to know that once we are at the competition yeah beautifully said <laughs> you know we can't really judge the girls based on social media we have to see them in person we you know every girl is working so hard that is something which we all have to understand and you yeah, have you know just put down so so beautifully <laughs> yeah, thank you yeah but it's the truth like we don't actually um mm-hmm. we cannot know anyone until we are there and until we like yeah. show our skills in the competition yeah true that's rightly said so why should you be the next most universe <laughs> why not <laughs> well um that that I mean, confidence is everything <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, i am working so hard to do it and mm-hmm. i mean that that would be a dream come true if i could win the miss mm-hmm. universe crown and yeah. uh, but we all are uh, we all deserve to win that crown i mean we all are working so so hard and uh, i mean of course i want to win it and i know the the one that wins that crown is going to be mm-hmm. the the right girl yeah and uh mm-hmm. someone that can inspire all the people and um uh i know that i could inspire not only mexico but the universe <laughs> yeah beautifully said so i just wanted to ask this are you connected with your missing sisters like are you talking to them sorry i'm uh, talking to my uh, my mates like miss and miss sister yeah miss ah, and miss sister well i have uh, talked with some of them not with all of <laughs> the contestants um yeah. what i think would could be a good um idea and i don't know if already exists but mm-hmm. like a group chat where we could like all talk and get yeah. to know a little bit more i mean i am <laughs> in a whatsapp group with for well, with 13 girls from latin america <laughs> because i don't know yeah. if you remember but we had like a forum where we were talking about uh, women empowerment and yeah. uh, we, we have uh, talked with each other a little bit more the yeah, ones that participate in yeah and that's awesome because yeah uh we get to know each other and i feel like when once we get to miss universe we're going to feel kind mm-hmm. of more connected with each other true yeah this is one once in a lifetime opportunity yeah and you girls are really lucky to be up there <laughs> <laughs> i know i feel i should be girl <laughs> <laughs> like I, i think uh we should always remember that that we are very lucky because just one girl from each country has the opportunity each year to be there Yeah. And that's a once in a lifetime opportunity and we should take advantage of everything that that this stage of our life it's bringing us to us. Yeah. True. True. So, you know, in early 2020, Mexico passed a bill about, you know, pageantry that it is disrespectful of women. So, what is your take on that bill? what do you think about it well i think it's sad that people talk about pageants without actually knowing what they mm-hmm. are like what they do to the contestants because it has been life changing for me i am i am not the woman i was before after after the pageants because it it, it gives you tools that you can use in any aspect of your life that you want and i well it has it hasn't been approved yet and that's yeah. a good thing and yeah. i think that we have to keep talking about this like keep talking yeah. about how empowering the contests the beauty contests are 
and that they have been changing and that maybe they have an idea an, an old idea of what mm-hmm. beauty pageants are and yeah. that's why i want to encourage all the people to actually get to know us the, the mm-hmm. ladies that are in this platform and yeah. how we have changed things to that yeah you know people really judge so easily about pageants they think it's all about models like every girl who is working up there is a model you know i i when i was a kid like i was like 11 or 12 year old so i used to sit with my mother and i used to you know see the pageants and she was like they are just here for you know modeling and stuff so i was like no it's not the reality but i was a kid so she didn't really hear me as i grew up you know i started building you know confidence in pageantry and i started connecting myself with pageant girls so she tried, you know she understood that yeah it's not just about beauty it's not about how you walk it's not about you know what body figure you have it's about exactly. how you empower people and thankfully she still sticks with me now and she watches yeah. the pageants yeah that's <laughs> and, awesome <laughs> yeah and i guess i have told you before um i was just randomly showing the pictures of miss universe girls to her and she was the one who said that mexico is going to win and i was like yeah. she's Aww. my pick as well <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet thanks to your mom <laughs> and that's good i mean that's what that's maybe what we need people that actually yeah. know about pageants to tell mm-hmm. the rest of the world like what it is about and i also believe that people from the government should be focusing their efforts in things that actually matter more than this like cool. i mean but of course violence against women exists <laughs> and it's not through the beauty pageants it is yeah. on the streets it is at work it is uh when we haven't been able to close the gender gap that yeah. where we should be focusing our efforts <laughs> yeah true that's rightly said you know people have to be more adaptive they have to be more open minded so that they can see the things beautifully yeah yeah that's right so my next question is you know you as you have won miss universe mexico and you have been also in this world you would have seen many you know haters many <laughs> criticism <laughs> so how do you deal with them do you block them uh yes <laughs> when they're like insisting a lot block them like- mm-hmm. Um but I tend to not read them. Like we have to know who we are in order to not yeah. let that kind of trash get into our lives. And True. that's why I'm I have a coach that I'm working with her in all these topics. I mean, I have four years in all this mm-hmm. pageantry world and that kind of has given me the tools to like to not pay attention to that kind of hate to that kind of trash but imagine the girls that are just uh, starting at this mm-hmm. and they shouldn't have to deal with this and we don't True. we shouldn't be normalizing it like yeah it happens but why and that's uh, i was talking to you about that before yeah. the week before yeah true and that we should talk about this to ask the people that are following the pageants to please just focus your energy mm-hmm. on supporting your queen give yeah. her all your love all the good vibes and just don't mess with the other people from different countries True. and don't mess with their queens because mm-hmm. what's the point like what do you think you're gonna gain from that from calling yeah. me i don't know ugly fat um stupid mm-hmm. you're not going to win anything and you're not affecting me because you don't even know me you know <laughs> like and yeah. uh, i mean sometimes I, like i don't even read them sometimes if they're insistent a lot i block them and that really makes me happy <laughs> yeah you know people have to understand that you know we can't really have same opinions every time if you don't like someone don't give them attention if you don't like exactly. someone don't say anything bad about them that is something people have to understand so i just want to share one incident 
maybe two minutes. Um, so back in December, I, you know, just said that I like, love this girl, but I didn't say bad about the another girl. So it's about pageants. So, so the, you know, the people started getting apprehensive. They started using, misusing, you know, photos of me, my mother, like, Oh my God. Yeah, it was really terrible. And they were like, we will u- misuse them if you, you know, just keep keep on going, uh, keep, you know, I'm sorry, I lo- I'm lost of the words. <laughs> if you worry. just just showcase your opinions like that, we will misuse them. So that was really bad. That really hurted me in a way because it's okay if you misuse my pictures, but you can't do with a mother. You know, she's a figure. She's someone who has given you, you know, birth she has given you something which no one else can give you. So this is something which people have to understand that spread positivity if you can't do anything else. If you can't, know, you know... If, if you can't spread positivity, just don't spread anything. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Sit down and <laughs> analyze the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. And, and I, had, I started a campaign a few months ago about that and I showed you yeah. the picture. Maybe I, I have to do a new one. Maybe after this Instagram live, I'm going to make it because I'm all dressed up and ready for that. Yeah, so, you should. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is, uh, it's, the name of it is Stop. Uh, only positive comments are allowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did saw that photo of yours back in April on me. It was about the same. And you have been doing this from so long. It's not like you won and then you started doing these things. You started doing this thing, you know, even before you won Miss Universe Mexico or your state title. So that's really beauty of it. You know, you are really doing and working so hard for it. Mm, and you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you, you introduce Mexico to your fellow Miss Universe contestants? Oh, well, Mexico is a fun place. <laughs> we love yeah. parties and people here in Mexico, they're always like super happy and they're always <laughs> so welcoming. And every time someone from a different country comes, we are so excited to show them what we what we have here in Mexico. All the food, yeah. you know, um, all the places because we have a lot of history too. And... <laughs> I, I have been thinking about what do I want to give them? Like, you know, this little gift that we always give to our friends from the contest. Uh, <laughs> and I want to ask everyone here, like, what are their thoughts about that? Like, what would they want to see about Mexico? And <laughs> what, what do you think would be a good idea to give them? Yeah. I, have, I have some thoughts, but I'm going to just uh, analyze <laughs> what, what all people here say. And yeah, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> so, um, I really want to visit Mexico, to be honest. You know, it's one of the... I have seen Mexico in movies, and it's a really beautiful place. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I, think, I think that uh, movies don't, do not picture Mexico as it actually is, and you have to come and actually live it, because we have some wonderful places, like... Mm-hmm. Our beaches are just amazing. Our forests, our lake, everything. It's breathtaking. I am um, the tourist ambassador from Chihuahua. And I am yeah. always, I'm always like uh, uh, posting through my social media pictures mm-hmm. from my state. And I'm very proud of it. And I encourage all of you to come to Mexico and specifically to Chihuahua. <laughs> And maybe when you're there, you can text me and we can, like, arrange something to make you experience the, the Mexican culture as it should be. I would really love to go to Mexico. and uh, Yeah, we will meet there. Or maybe in India. <laughs> I also love Mexican <laughs> food. <laughs> oh, it, it is delicious. <laughs> yeah. So how hard has been this, how hard has been, you know, pandemic for you as a reigning queen? Like, how has pandemic treated you as a queen? Well, well, of course, it's kind of a different kind of reign. Like, there's not a lot, a lot of events where you mm-hmm. can be at and where you can meet people. And that's the part that I love about being yeah. a beauty queen. Because you get to know 
a lot of people and you True. can learn a lot from them and I love that and maybe that's the sad part about it but of course we have to adapt and uh, as for now I think everything has been great and uh, now that mm -hmm. I'm here in Mexico City I think that things are gonna improve a lot not only about my preparation but about how I can relate with my mm -hmm. people here from Mexico. Yeah, it has been really different kind of rain for you. But you should be you know, grateful that I am the first one to experience this. And that's the beauty of it. You know, no one have ever lived a rain like this. Like yeah, in the we're pandemic. Part the, we're part of the history. <laughs> yeah, we, we, you're we're the history the maker. <laughs> <laughs> you're history maker. <laughs> so next question is, I have to say it because it's pretty long. Um, what is something that you had done in Miss World that will change you better, that will change for the better in Miss Universe? For the better? Um, well, I think it, the change has come naturally because mm -hmm. I, I am older now. I mm -hmm. am more mature. I know mm -hmm. who I am. I know what I want and I know why I am going to be at the Miss Universe stage and I think yeah. that's the main point about it um, of course I'm putting all my efforts in my preparation uh, but I think that's the most important one that I am more focused now and it's not that I wasn't focused at Miss World mm -hmm. but I think I was younger and maybe I didn't realize where I was standing at and yeah. it was kind of new for me and now mm -hmm. I know what a pageant is and I am pretty sure I'm 100% sure that I'm meant to be at that Miss Universe stage. Yeah this is something which you are meant to be at. <laughs> so this is something uh, this might be a fun question what is a uh, side of Andrea that we don't we don't see on social media? Who's that's Andrea? <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's a good question because I tend to feel, well, I know that maybe I, sometimes I don't portray myself as I, I am on my social media, um, mm -hmm. but I like to see myself as a very easygoing woman. <laughs> I am very friendly. I have lots of friends. I, yeah. I love sports. I love being uh, um, like in, in the great outdoors, enjoying the fresh air, just running or maybe even climbing trees. I'm kind of extreme. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love extreme sports too. I love singing. Uh, I think maybe sometimes people idealize me. That's, that's mm -hmm. the right word. Like idealize yeah. a little bit. Mm, and they tend to think that I am kind of perfect, which I'm not. And that's the great thing. You know, that's the amazing part of everything, that we are not perfect, mm -hmm. that we are just humans on a competition. And, yeah. and we should be treated like that. Because I am, I am not, I'm not more than anyone else. And mm -hmm. I love when people treat me like that, just as a human being. And I think that's a very powerful thing. Yeah, that's beautiful. You know, no one is perfect. That That is something you have said beautifully. And I can relate to that. And also, I'm really scared of trees. I can't climb on trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not afraid of heights and I'm not afraid of falling. Actually, I have a lot of scars on my legs because oh. I, I tend to be a little bit uh, extreme. And I also practice CrossFit and, well... <laughs> Kind of a tomboy, if you like to see it like that. <laughs> That's great, you know. My sister, actually, she's my cousin. She's like 11 years old and she's like six, six feet already and she's like tomboy. I, you know, <laughs> I see you in her and I don't know. I just love you, Andrea. Oh, and okay. yeah, you, you told that you love to sing. Can you sing a song? Oh, my God. <sighs> I, w I am not prepared for this, but um, okay, let's, let's sing something fast. Any, any song of your choice, like you can sing two lines, that's enough. Okay, let me think fast. Um, ah, 
give me options. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, uh, I'm I, I'm just thinking about like in, in a song in Spanish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, oh my my computer is uh, it died. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> it's on you if you want to say. Que me quites la mirada para que entiendas que ya no. <laughs> Why are you at Miss Universe? You should be an international singer. singer. Ah, thank you. Maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, Miss Universe gives opportunities. Yeah, I love it. True. Your voice is so captivating. I really thank loved you. it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now we will have some fun part. Like it's a rapid fire question. I will okay. be. you know just giving an option i will giving an i will give you an question and you have to just instantly answer it Think whatever it comes in your mind yeah okay. i'm ready favorite okay. color yeah let's Pink. let's begin oh <laughs> pet peeve when people do a lot of noise when they're chewing their food and they do it with their open mouth well, i know i can relate I to that my father do that <laughs> I, i just run away from the that place <laughs> favorite food Sushi, vegan sushi. Oh, I have never tried it. <laughs> Favorite must only be from Mexico. Aside from Jimena. Ah, that's hard. Um, I might say Sofia or Lupita. Same. Lu Lu Lupita, Lupita and Sofia. Yeah, I love Lupita. Most memorable travel. <laughs> most what? Memorable travel. Uh, most, oh, the, the yeah. Miss World Tour. The Miss World Tour. It was. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was the favorite country? You know, when you went with my solo organization. The, my favorite thing from that tour. Yeah, your your favorite country that you visited. Oh. Well, it's hard because um, I I got to visit several cities in India, and I oh. love that. And when I was in Indonesia, for example, I only was at Jakarta. So I mm -hmm. didn't have the opportunity to visit different places from the country. Um, yeah. China will definitely stay in my heart because of all the things that we lived yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And well, talking about uh, the view, I have mm -hmm. to say my favorite place was the British Virgin Islands. It is oh. breathtaking, really. If you haven't been there, people, you have to visit the British Virgin Islands because it's just. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, I would love to go there. So, next is most memorable life experience or most memorable day of your life. The most memorable experience was when I moved out of my parents' house and I started to mm -hmm. live an independent life. That was life-changing for me. It mm -hmm. happened on 2018. That was a year of a lot of changes in my life, mm -hmm. and I will always remember the day I got to Guadalajara, kind of alone. But my dad was with me, but he left the next day, and uh -huh. that will always stay in my heart, like remembering me. How powerful it is to have people by your side because we sometimes yeah. tend to take for granted. Or family, mm -hmm. or friends, and mm -hmm. once you are alone, you realize how important. The important, are. yeah, true. I have never been, you know, alone. Trust me, I have never lived alone without my mother, and mm -hmm. she's always concerned that how Shubham will live alone. Like <laughs> I have some plans. Like I would love to do, you know, MBA from foreign country, and she's like. I don't think you can go because you are too <laughs> introvert. You can't live alone. So, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you can. I mean, I believe we all can. We all can be independent. But sometimes, <laughs> like um, we haven't give us ourselves the opportunity. I I <laughs> used to be like I, as I told you, super shy and super <laughs> scared of the world. And my parents used to think that I was going to be the last to leave the house, even though I was the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> But I was the first one to leave because mm -hmm. once I I went to I went through all these uh, things thanks to the pageant, mm -hmm. I realized that uh, there was more for me and that I couldn't stay 
there and like that I just couldn't mm-hmm. stay with my parents anymore and not because I don't love them but because I have changed so much and I yeah. wanted more yeah you know there is always a day when you leave everything behind leave the people you love just to move forward in life so yeah so who's a celebrity crush <laughs> ah that that's hard i uh maybe <laughs> maybe Ryan Reynolds yeah and uh, i love yeah. like his, his relationship with mm-hmm. his wife like i think it's so sweet <laughs> and also <Yeah. laughs> uh, will smith i love him <laughs> <laughs> so superpower or miss universe crown which would you rather have like to have can, can i have both <laughs> or no may, maybe wait, wait 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 maybe i could have a superpower that would later make me win the Miss Universe crown. <laughs> <laughs> Clever enough. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's great. You know, that's great answer. <laughs> so favorite childhood TV show? Um, I used to watch a lot the Winnie Pooh movies and also the princess mm-hmm. movies. I-, I loved like all the princesses. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> dogs or cats? Both. I love them, but if I, I mean, I think like dogs are so cute and they're like so mm-hmm. happy and, um, but but cats, they're so cute too. And I love that they are very independent. And maybe if I had to choose right now, like if they're mm-hmm. giving me either a, a dog or a cat, I would choose a cat. Same. I have four cats, so mm-hmm. I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. They're, so, they're so cute. I love them. Yeah, they are like we will do whatever we want to do. You can't convince us. <laughs> they're no? like living their uh, uh cats are like we want to live in our own world. Don't disturb ah. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is something which I love. Yeah, they're in- independent. <laughs> yeah, they're independent and I love that. So people really wanted to see Andre Mesa scream Andre Mesa Mexico. Can you do that? <gasps> They're always asking me to do that. <laughs> Finally. Um, well, yeah, why not? Uh, I have to say, <laughs> I feel kind of weird doing it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have to say my name, my age, and my country, or just my name and my country? Whatever you want to do. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Andrea Mesa, 26, Mexico. And that's Miss Universe 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think uh, this live was really something that I really looked forward from a very long time. Yeah, And thank you so much for thank you so much for this accepting it because i'm a really big fan of yours and it's really a fanboy moment to see you like in not in person but like virtually this is something which is new normal for us mm-hmm. so i'm really thankful for that uh, i thank you lupita your team mexican universal team because it could have not been possible because without you guys so thank you so much Oh, thank you. I'm really happy to be here with you. Thank you for the opportunity and for taking the time to write to my organization and to ask them mm-hmm. if we could do this Instagram live. It has been a pleasure for me. I had a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Uh, I loved <laughs> talking to you and I hope we can talk later in the future. I will be yeah. so happy to do it. Yeah, we will talk in future for sure. So, <laughs> And we will well, be texting each other like we always do. So. Yeah, that's super fun. You know, I really get, you know, so excited whenever you text me. Like, whenever I'm driving the car and I see, you know, notification of Andre Meza, I'm like, I don't care who, who, what is in front of me. I'll just, you know, stand at that, that spot and read the message. Oh. So that is something really funny. So I really want you to share something, some message to the people who are watching. Like, what would you love to say to them? Thank you everyone for all of your support. You cannot imagine 
how it gives me even more energy to keep working and to keep pe preparing for the Miss Universe contest. This is a dream for me and I thank you for sharing this dream with me. I, I am doing my best and I feel so happy every time you text me and you say that I have inspired you to go to the gym, that I have inspired you to do your best because that's the point of this. Yeah. The point is to inspire all the people that are listening and watching to you. And every time you share this with me, I feel mm -hmm. that I am in the right path and that I am doing the right thing. So I thank you so much for all your love, for all your messages and all the support. That was so heart touching. <laughs> that oh. was so heart touching, you know. Even for me, I'm you're one of your fans, so I was relating to that. <laughs> oh. Thank you, gracias, for gracias. You know, <laughs> te amo for you know just accepting oh. the offer. <laughs> I'm learning Spanish, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, wait, wait. yeah. Gracias. So I just take a screenshot of us two, like, yeah. Smiling. <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect. Yay! Super. Yeah. Well, thank you for again. Your thank time. you so much. Take care. Thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you so much, and have a good day ahead. Thank you. You too. Yeah. yeah With, thank you so uh, much. Sweet dreams because it's very late over there in India. Yeah, that day was day day was really bad, and you literally made it so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you a lot. Besos. Besos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys, for joining it. Um, it really means so much to me. It really means so much to you know. It really means so much to me because. I'm receiving so much love from every one of you, especially Mexican fans. It really means world to me. And as I'm assured that I will be supporting Andrea till the end. And that's my promise. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day and enjoy the life. <laughs>